Hey, what's up guys? It's your main man, Stinky Armpit Bass, back in the lab tonight, baby. So I'm doing some indoor tuning. I'm going over how I'm going to use my Nano V3 oscilloscope in conjunction with my climb tools, uh, DMM, uh, to tune a Hyphonics Brutus 160.2. Now, just to give you guys the heads up, I got a little Trojan AGM over here. Uh, it is kind of dead, 12.2. Good thing I got it connected to a little power supply down here, about a 10 amp. I'll plug this guy in see that start going up. Bam. Already jumping. And I got my little jumper wire over here on the BRX 160.2. So I'm getting questions all the time on how I tune and all that. Of course, you can use uh, the same stuff I'm about to show you uh, in your whip and in your ride uh, whenever you're out in the car. Uh, this is going to be the exact same way. So I basically just got this uh, hooked up right now with a little jumper wire. There is no remote. So bam, blue lights are on, didn't blow anything, bam. So I've had this in my truck for a while, I had it hooked up to uh, two different uh, Rockford Fosgate, I think P1 or T1 uh, tweeters, uh, my Crescendo Super Tweets, I actually overpowered them, so I'm taking it out now, might keep it, might sell it, I don't know. So, got a couple different situations going on. Uh, number one, some, sometimes people tune by putting uh, the leads directly into the amp. I don't do that. You might as well use speaker wire because that's what's going to connect your speaker anyway. So on this side, I have my tablet. Now I've got a, a headphone jack. The RCA is going in. Of course, in your car, you can have RCAs from the back of your head unit going in. Uh, so this is just basically just a, just a process. I'm going to show you guys. Of course, in your ride, it's going to be a little bit different. So... A, uh, an app that I downloaded is called a uh, tone generator. Now this is awesome. Uh, you can do uh, sine waves, square waves, pink noise, all this kind of stuff. Uh, in this scenario for the amp, uh, this is supposedly 320 watts bridged at four ohms. I do have a bridge over here, negative and positive. And in this specific situation, uh, not only am I going to look at my target AC voltage, which is a you know pretty easy way to tune if you don't have uh, you know, a DD1 or this or any of this, uh, O-scope, any of this mess. Uh, you take uh, the power you're trying to achieve times the ohm load or the resistance, and whatever that number is, you take the square root of it. So in this case, they claim this guy puts out 320 watts bridged at 4 ohms, and that equals, I think, 1230 or 1260 or something like that. You take the square root of your power times resistance. In this case, it's going to be 3577 AC volts. So I'm going to put in the voltage on here on your DMM. If that's all you have, make sure it's on AC. I can sit here and I can change it to DC or whatever, but AC is actually what powers speakers. That's going to be coming out of your terminals. So I've got my red, of course, going to the positive, and my black, of course, going to the negative. Now, in conjunction with this bad boy, I have my Nano V3 oscilloscope. Great investment for less than $150. Um, this is up with the firmware. Uh, as soon as I turn on, up and down, left and right, I go down to the purple, I hit over, get that guy off there. Now, uh, your green is almost uh, what makes it interactive with the wave. You're going to want to take your green, and we're going to want to go down. And then I keep it on these two. So, as far as the amp goes, uh, a couple different situations going on. I have uh, the option for stereo or mono. It's on mono. Uh, if you have any crossovers, uh, either put it to off or full and open up all of your filters. My base EQ, of course, is down as low as you can go. And, of course, level, which is gain, uh, input voltage, that's as low as you can go. So from here, what I do is let's say this is your head unit in your car and uh, you have it three quarters of the way or uh, max volume until you know that it's not clipping. In this scenario, it's just a tablet. It's probably not putting out much uh, RCA voltage. I'm going to go ahead and turn it up. All the way up. I'm going to go to custom. I act like I'm tuning a subwoofer here. Or amp for a sub. Go to 40 hertz. Apply. Bam. Now we can already see the oscilloscope going kind of crazy. I'm going to lower this green guy a little bit more. Get down there. There you go. See how when you get the green actually where the sine wave is? See how it stabilizes? If you go up, see how it's all crazy? Yeah, you want to keep it right there. Where it's locked in there. There you go. Now, right off the bat, even with the gain at zero, we have 3.5 AC volts. I'm going to keep an eye on that. So from here, what I'm going to do is 
I had one of these guys a minute ago. How would I do that one ago? I don't know. I can just use this because the high phonics. Without messing with your filters or anything, we're going to slowly inch that gain up. And as we do, we're going to notice that not only is the AC voltage going to change, also the sine wave. So my target voltage again is 35.77. So slowly going up. See how the, look at the wave changing. See it changing? 33.89. What's our target? 35. That's just about dead on. Now let's get in here and check out the wave. So yo and your blue is actually what changes the wave. So I'm going to make it smaller and bring it in tighter. So technically, is this a hard clip? No, it's not a hard clip. But you can tell there's some distortion, other stuff going on in the wave. So let's say I was to back down the head unit. See how that wave's starting to smooth out? It is getting smaller. And of course my AC voltage is going way down. But it's probably uh, creating less distortion. So best case scenario, you know, we're at 13.7 volts. If we're at 14.4, which is what this amp's right at, all right, probably close to it. I know it's a pretty strong amp. It is a high phonics Brutus, but I had it in my car for a while, so it go, does get down. So without having this uh, or a, a DD1 or anything, that's just an easy way where you can pretty much play it safe, uh, uh, you know, to be able to tune your amp. This is, if you're tuning for a subwoofer, it's kind of hard to do by ear because it's low frequencies. Uh, but if you're tuning for mids and highs, a little bit easier because you can actually hear distortion in the speakers. Now, we can kind of see the sound wave. There's some funky stuff going on. It's kind of whatever, whatever. So I'm trying to hit this target AC voltage of this, but I also don't have the kind of juice this guy's requiring anyway. So it's kind of a trade-off right now. I bet at 14.4, be able to hit it and probably be a nicer, uh, cleaner sine wave. Um, so, yeah, if you guys have any questions on, uh, on how to tune or anything like that, uh, you guys just, uh, just give me a ring or uh, hit up in the comments below and, uh, and just let me know what you think. I'm here to help you guys. Thanks.